Celebrate Life Banquet, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation. <laughs> Thank you for being here as our special guest this evening. This, is a, this banquet was sold out seven weeks ago. So we had to have an extra room so that we can live stream the activities going on here this evening to another whole group. So this is only part of the audience this evening. So thank you for being here. I am thrilled. My name is Susan Rogax, and I am honored to be the president of the board of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing this terrific evening with us. I appreciate all of you. You'll be hearing quite a bit about our theme this evening of gratitude, inspiration, and determination. Let me take the opportunity to introduce the Federation to those of you who do not know us. We are the largest statewide, single-issue, grassroots pro-life organization in Pennsylvania, with over 40 chapters spread across the entire Commonwealth. We strive to protect innocent human life from pre-born to natural death, including born alive infants. <laughs> we have in this room many of our pro-life Pennsylvania legislators here this evening, and we appreciate you so much and your courage for standing up for life. <laughs> because of these legislators over the years and the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation, we have passed laws to protect human lives in Pennsylvania. A few years ago, we passed a law to regulate abortion centers. And since that time, only a short eight years ago, nine shoddy abortion mills have shuttered their doors. A few decades ago, with the help of our Pennsylvania pro-life legislators and the Federation, laws were passed, the Abortion Control Act in fact, that have limited abortions, in fact cut them in half in Pennsylvania over the last few decades. So again, we thank our pro-life legislators and I will thank the Federation for their hard work. Planned Parenthood and abortion rights groups are frightened they may lose Roe v. Wade at the Supreme Court. And this is why they have targeted Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh and our pro-life president for impeachment. It's all about abortion. And they are frightened to death that they're gonna, if, they, if even one abortion is stopped, that it just fills them with hate. Planned Parenthood and abortion rights groups push for laws in New York that now allow abortions all nine months of pregnancy until the day of birth, you can have an abortion. And the governor of New York celebrated this by lighting up the towers in the city. In Virginia, laws were seriously discussed and are even be, still being looked at to allow abortions not just for nine months, but after the baby has been born. This is just another reason why we must defund Planned Parenthood. You are going to hear this evening about the continuing progress of the Federation and the plans for the future. With your help, Pennsylvania will continue to be a pro-life state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The program plan for, night, for tonight is simply over the top. Two highly entertaining, incredibly vivacious, deeply committed sisters to their beliefs and not shy to, about sharing them <laughs> will give you an unforgettable performance this evening. 
And these two beautiful, only these two beautiful ladies can pull it off. <laughs> I guarantee you are going to be either glued to your seats or jumping out of them. <laughs> I am so excited to hear from them. Thank you for sharing this memorable evening with us.